we see more politicians making a distinction between supporting the notion that Black Lives Matter and being able to say, while not supporting the organization or their platform. So essentially they can say they support it, but not do anything substantive. Mm. Professor Jardina. Yeah, I mean, I think that that is pretty consistent with what we're observing when we just think about white Democrats' attitudes about the movement and a lot of the policies that the movement supports. Um, you know, one of the things that I've noted is if you look at public opinion polls, a lot of white liberals are becoming much more supportive of um, both the movement, of uh, reducing racial inequality in the abstract, um, you know, of things that uh, of taking down Confederate symbols, but when you actually ask uh, whites on both sides of the partisan aisle, you know, do you support reparations? Do you support actual policies that would help uh, really um, create greater racial equality in the United States? Uh, most white Americans aren't really on board, whether they're Democrats or Republicans. And so, you know, I think that it's um, it's an easy gesture for politicians to say they support the goals of the movement. It's going to garner a lot of support from white Democrats when they do so. Uh, but the uh, fact of the matter is that the moment uh, Democrats start talking about reparations, they probably are gonna lose some support from some white Democrats. So can, can I just uh, just piggyback yes, on what Professor Jardina said? Um, so yeah, so that's what uh, Professor Jardina is referring to is what's typically known in the, in the discipline as a principal policy gap. Right. So you have widespread support for these principles but when it actually comes down to the rubber hitting the road. Right. When it comes to implementation of some kind of substantive policy, that's where you lose all support. The same thing happened. Um, and, you know, these Michigan people I know who this is, Schumann and, and Bobo and uh, Steve's book, uh, Racial Attitudes in America, where they show how the principal policy gap, you know, remained pretty wide in the South um, in the 50s and even all the way through the 60s, right? I mean, so you had white Southerners that became, that were more for equal rights, you know, in an abstract sense, but when it actually came down to integrating their kids in the same school as black kids, they wanted no parts of that. Yeah, exactly. Just to, you know, add to that a really important point, when you look at surveys asking white Americans, how do you feel about uh, a wealth tax? How do you feel, feel about reparations? How do you feel about busing your kids to reduce segregation? How do you feel about building affordable housing in your neighborhood to increase the diversity of your neighborhood? White Democrats, the same ones who say that they're supportive of racial equality, aren't very supportive of those policies. Thank mm -hmm. you.